Well, now that you know what a taxonomy is, let's go ahead and set up the taxonomy we need for our events content type. Click on Structure, scroll down and click on Taxonomy. As you probably remember, we've been setting up tags all along, but as I mentioned in the previous video, we want to have a closed taxonomy or something that we can control, not something that people can just add terms to willy-nilly simply because typos occur. So click Add Vocabulary, and let's call this Event Topics. This is where we track the topics for Drupal events. Click Save. And now we can add terms to our vocabulary. Click on Add a Term. And on the screen, you see a list of the terms that we're going to add. Let's go ahead and add those. Introduction to Drupal. And click Save. The nice thing is, in terms, when you click Save, it brings you back to this Add screen again. Site Building, and click Save. Module Development, and click Save. Theming, you probably recognize that I'm just hitting Enter, and it automatically saves it. That's really great about this particular section of Drupal. And then the last one is Performance and click Save. Now we could add a multi-tier, multi-nested vocabulary here. Uh, we're going to keep this pretty simple here in this beginner class. Clicking on Taxonomy here and listing the terms in my event topics, I now have Introduction, Module Development, Performance, Site Building, and Theming. You'll notice they're in alphabetical order. Uh, well, I want to keep them in the order of complexity, so I'm going to move module development down, site building up, and I'm going to put theming after site building, and then performance at the very end. You'll notice you can just click and drag these. One thing to remember, however, is whenever you do something like this, remember to save your changes, otherwise Drupal won't remember them after you leave this screen. Go ahead and click Save. And there we have our terms in the order that we want. Well, we've added their taxonomy, but of course, our content type doesn't know about this yet. So go ahead and click on Structure, Content Types, and let's manage the fields and our events content type and add a new field. Selecting a field type in this case is a reference to the taxonomy term in the vocabulary we just created. So choose Taxonomy Term. And let's call this Event Topics. Click Save and Continue. And now it's going to ask us which type of item to reference. Once again, we've already chosen that, so be careful here. We'll change it to Unlimited because, of course, an event can have more than one topic. Click Save Field Settings. And down here, we need to make sure that we choose the correct reference type. We are choosing Event Topics. Here, this is going to allow us to create referenced entities if they don't already exist. This is called Inline Entity Reference. Basically, what it means is if there was a topic that wasn't in our listing, then we could add it on the fly. Well, we don't want them to do that, so we'll leave that unchecked. Click Save Settings. There's one more step before we add content. We need to set up our URL patterns. And we normally do this before we add content, so the content we add has the correct human-friendly URL. And we'll do that in the next video.